Hello, Sophie D'Souza here, Sophie Stained Glass. Thank you for joining me. Um, I have noticed that you quite enjoy the videos where I basically cock it up, do it wrong. So I have one for you today. Um, and it is to do with this particular window here. And this is the offending area. And what happened was I did the whole window, soldered it, stood back look at, and looked at it and realised that the central flower was just slightly not pointing vertically. It was just like, I don't know, about four mil off. <sighs> so watch as I try and retrieve the situation and fail and rebuild it. Um, it is a video steeped in jeopardy. Um, so enjoy the viewing. So I've done a horrible job. While I was doing everything I needed to do on this little roundel, I put it in and managed to, I don't know, I've twisted it somehow. So the point of this um, petal isn't meeting this. What I'm gonna do is trying to get th through all these joints on both sides so that I can swivel the panel. So that's the plan, wish me luck. In case you haven't seen my video of how to break a joint, you heat up the joint with your soldering iron and you heat up your lead knife at the same time and you um, sort of push it down through the joint. And obviously you need to do that from both sides. Um, you have to be a bit careful not to keep the um, iron on the lead too long because um, it's not difficult to melt your lead. Um, anyway, I, I have truncated this video somewhat because I spent such a long time doing this. And um, I just just didn't quite seem to get it the way I wanted it. I got through the joints. It, um, it was moving about. I could stretch the panel. But what I couldn't do was turn the roundel. No matter what I did, it just wanted to bounce back to where it was. So I think what happened was as I melted the joints, some of the solder... Um, melted down inside the lead and left little sort of bumps which stopped me being able to swivel this roundel. Um, I did struggle on with this for a very long time. I reckon I was about, I was doing this for at least half an hour um, because I just kept getting so very nearly there. It kept very nearly working. And obviously the longer you work on a thing like this, the more likely you are to make a mistake because you get tired and you get frustrated um, and you want to be really careful that you don't um, sort of uh, slip with your tools and also that uh, you don't go at it too hard and break it. Okay, so I have finally broken it, just here. But I think you could see I officially was not winning. So I am now going to take this apart. Um, I think that's just the simplest thing to do at this point. Super annoying. I'm kind of wondering whether to completely remake this because um, it has suffered some indignities, to put it mildly. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to totally remake this piece.
So thank you for watching. Please learn by my mistakes, as I try to. Hopefully I'll never make that particular mistake again. Um, yes, uh, good luck retrieving all your mistakes. Um, possibly you don't make any. <laughs> I do on a regular basis. Um, and uh, please like, comment and subscribe.